And dozens of people are now in custody from two colleges in New York. New York police officers cleared encampments from that area. Kennedy Hayes is live at Columbia University with the latest on the situation there. Kennedy, what can you tell us? Sylvia, well, officers responded to calls at both the new school and NYU. NYPD made a total of 56 arrests. And take a look at this video showing police officers clearing the NYU encampment first this morning. NYPD says the university presidents asked them to help, quote, secure their schools back to them. No one was reportedly hurt, and cleaning crews were then let into the area. NYPD says they are now ready to move on, but believe these student protesters are becoming radicalized by an unknown group. I just want to say, and I said it before, there is somebody behind this movement. There is some organization behind this movement. The, the level of organization that we're seeing in both of these uh, uh, encampments here and at Columbia, leafless on how to protest, leafless on how to commit civil disobedience, leafless on how, what to do when you get arrested, leafless on not, uh, what to say to police when they ask you. There is somebody funding this. There is somebody radicalizing our students. And our Deputy Commissioner of Counterterrorism Intelligence will find out who it is. And we'll be, we're going to be asking them some questions when we do. Body camera video released yesterday shows NYPD raiding a building at Columbia University Tuesday after anti-Israel protesters took over a space on campus called Hamilton Hall. Officers in protective gear were seen busting down barricades, sawing off a chain, and then arresting protesters inside. And all in all, since the first protest began here at Columbia University just over two weeks ago, more than 2,000 protesters have been arrested at universities nationwide. In New York, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 32 Chicago.